This is a story about sand, where it comes from, what it is, and the things that live in it and on it. White sand, like you see here, is mostly eroded coral. Black sand and muck is a mixture of eroded coral, landforms, and volcanic ash. While it may look featureless and barren, it is anything but. This hermit crab is perfectly happy to sift sand for morsels of food. Organisms like this tube coral that is managing to live in the sand end up being sandy hotels for many things. A sleepy puffer settles down for the night. Cardinal fish hang in the current and squat lobsters and shrimp are also preparing for the evening. A bit of soft coral growing out of the sand makes a fine perch for a spiny seahorse. Hydroids are food for this nudibranch and its toxins are stored for protection. Cavities in the sand, beneath rocks and coral, make good homes for mores, mantis shrimp, and many other species. Bits of bamboo, sticks, or even discarded trash will be used for places to lay eggs or hide from predators. This is where I learned a painful lesson for not looking what I was doing with my hand. Fire urchins are well named. They are like beach balls covered with hypodermic syringes. A tiny blue ring octopus somehow manages to crawl into a toothpaste tube. A flamboyant cuttlefish is off to the races and a colorful flatworm takes a stroll across the sand. Nighttime is when snails are out hunting for food with their deadly harpoons poised for the kill. The potent toxin of cone shell snails has been known to kill people. The little guys also have places to go. This baby scorpion fish takes full advantage of the swarm of worms attracted by the light. Many critters, like this mimic octopus, burrow into the sand for protection. The bobtail squid dives for cover. Okay, all gone. Sometimes a good house cleaning is needed. Now you see me. Now you don't. A coconut octopus is all about staying at home. <laughs>